Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to get every gun in Blocks Fruits. That's right, every gun. Now these are all of the guns that are currently in the game, so if I am missing one, then it wasn't in the game while recording. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, let's get straight into the video. C1. Slingshot. The slingshot, right here, can be bought from the weapons dealer for $5,000. The weapons dealer is over here in the main island. These are the moves. It has two moves, the first of which being a sticky pellet. You press C, it explodes, and whatever's in this area that it hits won't be able to go very far from it. So I'll show you if I do not hit it, like there, it gets stuck as you can see, and then unstuck about a second later. This can be good if you've got knockback moves. The second ability is explosive pellet, it's just an explosion. Musket. The musket can also be bought from the weapon dealer over here, in Middletown. The musket can be bought from the weapon dealer in Middletown for $8,000. These are the moves. It has two moves, the first of which being Dragon Bullet. That is an explosive bullet, just like the explosive pellet of the slingshot. Next is the Bold, pist uh, the bold Pistolero. That's the X move and it makes a tornado, launching the enemy upwards. Obviously these monkeys don't have very much health, and I do have gun stats, so that does definitely not help their chance of survival. Flintlock. It can be bought from the weapons dealer over here in Middletown for 10,500. As you can see, it's right there. These are the moves. Like all other guns, it has two moves. The first is Disabling Shot, which is a little purple shot, which stuns for a, just under a second, maybe about half a second. It too has single target clicks. The disabling shot does not much damage at all, as you can see it only does at the moment 899 when I compare it to the click which does 1700 which is about double the disabling shot. Next is the rapid gun. The rapid gun attack shoots a couple like lasers which explode on contact with something. Should be around two or three of those lasers that it comes out. They each do about 800 damage if you got max stats. Refined Slingshot. The Refined Slingshot can be bought at this island over here, which is the Marine Fortress, behind this house at the Advanced Weapon Dealer for $30,000. Refined guns basically do the exact same as the regular guns, but just more damage. These are the moves. It has Sticky Pellet, but this time it's a bigger range. As you can see, it sticks them at in place. It too is fast shooting, like the first slingshot. The second move is Explosive Pellet, just like the regular slingshot. Just a little bigger range. Refined Flintlock. The Refined Flintlock can also be bought at the Advanced Weapon Dealer in the Marine Fortress, but for $65,000. Again, refined guns do more damage than the regular versions, but have the same moves. So it too has the disabling shot, which stuns for a little bit, and also the rapid gun, which does three laser-like shots that explode. Here's another example. Disabling shot, the gun, and the rapid gun. Cannon. The cannon can also be bought from the advanced weapon dealer over here for $100,000. This has a special click ability where it shoots an explosive bullet. The bad thing about this is that it takes a long time to reload, as you can see. It has two abilities, the first being Alpha Wave, which you shoot and it knocks the enemy back really far if it hits them. The second ability is Incendiary Ammo, as you can see. It shoots three shots, leaving flames on the ground. This is an example of Alpha Wave shooting them really far away. And that's cannon. Refined Musket. The refined musket can be obtained over here at the Magma Village. You have to go into this volcano and kill the Magma Admiral for a chance to get it. The refined musket 
is just the musket, but with more damage. The two moves are Dragon Bullet, which is just a big explosive bullet, and Bolt Pistolero, which again is a tornado that sends the enemy upwards. If you are to get any of the guns, you should probably get the refined version if there is a refined version of the gun. Bazooka. I am in the Skylands right now, and you have to head up to the upper Skylands to get the bazooka. The bazooka can be dropped from this boss over here, Whisper, with a low chance. It too, like the cannon, shoots explosive shots. It has two moves. The first move is Alpha Wave, which sends the enemy far backwards. And the second is Incendiary Ammo, which shoots out four shots instead of the cannon's three shots. It is basically the refined cannon, but without specifically mentioning that it's just an upgrade of the cannon. C2, Acidum Rifle. The Acidum Rifle can be dropped from the factory raid, which happens every one and a half hours in a server. The factory raid is at this factory right here, which is near to the cafe. You go inside, you beat up the core with all of your abilities, and if you do 10% of the damage or more, you have a chance to get the Acidum Rifle. These are the moves. The Acidum Rifle has an interesting click, where if you hit an enemy, it does damage over time. So as you can see, it just did starting with 900 damage, but over time did 3,500. The first move is Spiky Bomb, which is a little projectile. When it hits something, it waits a second and then explodes, stunning the enemy, which also breaks observation. The second ability is Acidic Smoke, which you shoot three lots of smoke, which create little clouds and get rid of the observation of any enemies in them not allowing them to dash or use abilities. Here is the spiky bomb again, so you can see it on different colored ground. And same with acidic smoke. This is currently one of the best guns in the game, Bizarre Rifle. You can buy the Bizarre Rifle here at the Cursed Ship. You have to go downstairs and find El Rodolfo. El Rodolfo sells you the Bazaar Rifle for 25 Ectoplasm as long as you are level 1000 or above. These are the moves. This is the click. It's just a basic click. The first move is the heat seeking shot. When it hits the enemy, it stuns them for a little bit of time. And as you can tell by the name, it's heat seeking, so it kind of homes in on the enemy. As you can see, it goes and follows the nearest enemy. The second ability is Hellfire Shower. It shoots a couple shots on the ground, and it creates these flames, which do a ton of damage. I believe it is the highest damaging gun in the game if you stand in the flames. So if you use them and then use a stunning ability, then you can get a ton of damage off of it. You can get ectoplasm from the enemies in the cursed ship. Kabucha. To buy Kabucha, you need to go to the remote island. So I'm here at the main spawn of the second sea. And if you look out to the sea and then to the left, you can see there's an island in the distance. You can buy Kabucha from the strongest god, which is just Usopp for 1,500 fragments. These are the moves. It has two moves, and the clicks are the fastest clicks in the game. Hackers used to use this with an auto hit ability so that they click and it automatically aims towards the opponent because the clicks are really fast. The first ability is Flying Firebird. When you shoot it, it shoots a Flying Firebird that leaves a trail of fire, which breaks instinct or observation. It also explodes on impact. Here is the flying firebird again. The second ability is intense wind. It creates a tunnel of wind that just pushes the enemies back and is a really good stun and combo move. You can use it directly into the ground and it pushes them directly into the ground. This is an example of how good it is for combos. I can use it and then use another move 
that is linear, like Shi Sui or Spiky Trident. Kabucha is one of the best guns in the game. C3, Serpent Bow. You can get the Serpent Bow as a low chance drop from the Island Empress at the palace at Hydra Island over here. She spawns right here and can drop the Serpent Bow. I think it looks pretty cool because it's a literal snake. Like a Sidium Rifle, it does damage over time. Or the clicks do, anyway. It has two moves. The first of which being Poisonous Blast, which explodes and then homes in on any nearby enemies or the enemy that it hits. It's a very good ability, especially when you're trying to get rid of someone's observation, as it can hit multiple times. The second ability is Snake Bind. This is a very good ability as it stuns the opponent and also makes them not able to dash or use moves for about two or three seconds. It's a really good ability. As you can see, that's how long it lasts. It's very nice. Serpent Bow is currently one of the best guns in the game. Soul Guitar. Currently, Soul Guitar is the only mythical gun in the game, and it is also the hardest gun to get. You can get the Soul Guitar at the Haunted Castle, and you can buy it for 500 bones, 250 ectoplasm, one dark fragment, and 5,000 fragments. You can get the bones from Haunted Castle enemies over on this island. You can get the ectoplasm from the second sea, at the cursed ship and enemies in there and you can get the dark fragment in the second sea from the raid boss dark beard which you can spawn at the dark arena using a fist of darkness indeed it is very dark you can only buy it after you complete the soul guitar puzzles you need to be level 2300 or above to start the puzzle if you start the puzzle it should save where you are up to so you can leave the game and rejoin and you should be able to continue on from the same point you were up to. Step 1. You have to come over to the graveyard over here to this gravestone and while it is a full moon which is noted by the server saying that the light of a full moon has peaked through the clouds, you can go and pray to it. There will be some words on the screen as your screen goes black then it goes away and the puzzle starts. Step 2. You need to come over to the living zombies. While you're here, you need to kill 6 living zombies, but you have to do it at the same time with the same move. It is best to get them all into the same spot by gathering them up and then using an air of effect ability to kill them all. Hopefully you use an ability that does not have any knockback so they don't go flying. This is me killing them all at the same time. The difficult thing about it is that they have Haki so they can hit you if you have a low gear for it. Completing each puzzle will say excellent on your screen so you know that you have done it. Step 3. Go back to the graveyard. Once you're at the graveyard, there will be signs at each row over here of graves at each side of the path. So there will be one here, 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 and then on the opposite side as well, going all the way down. You click on one of the two pairs to make it go white. And what you are meant to do is select the row which has more graves. It will be in this order. Right, right, left, right, left, left, left. The order again is right, right, left, right, left, left, left. From farthest away to closest to the house. Step four, you have to go inside the castle. Once you are in here, you have to go up the ramp to the end of the hallway and go through this door that will be open. You come in here and talk to a ghost, which makes your screen go black for a second before it disappears. Step 5. Go out of the castle to the bridge near the Soul Reaper spawn room. 
here I am on the bridge. If you look at the bottom right, you will see there's a garden. You have to look from the Soul Reaper's spawn room to the main castle and then aim your camera down while zooming out so you can see the entire garden in this way. There will be some trophies here in an arrangement that will be random. Either screenshot or memorize the pattern of where each trophy is and which way the handles are facing. Once you have done that, go into the basement and then head left to this board over here. You will see there are buttons. Click those buttons so that the positions where the trophies were in the garden have the same direction their handles were and then the spaces that have no trophies are empty and black on this board. Here is an example. The trophies are random for everyone so you cannot copy the example here. Step 6. Change the coloured pads on the floor, which are these, by clicking on them. You need to change them to the colour of pipes that are in line with them. Here is the first one and there are no pipes on the wall or on the roof, so you leave that black. The next one, there are no pipes on the wall or on the roof, so you leave it black. The third one, you check the walls and then the roof, so there's red, so you'd click it until it turns red. Then there's blue, then there's nothing, then there's green, then there's nothing, and then there's red, then after that, there's nothing, and finally, there's blue. If done correctly, it will say congratulations. Once you've finished the puzzle, you can come to this machine over here and buy the soul guitar. It is currently one of the best guns in the game. These are the moves. So its click ability is a big AOE musical note. It does a decent amount of damage and has a pretty big range. So, if you are in PvP, it's really fun to spam this on your opponent. I believe it also breaks observation. The first of the two moves is Soul Shaker, which is similar to Kabucha's X move. However, you can dodge it with observation, and it's instantly really long range. Here is how long the range is, it's very long. Here is another example of how far it can go. As you can see, it went past that tree all the way over there. It's very far range. The next ability is El Diablo. When you press it, it creates a big skull and air of effect, lifting enemies up and stunning them, breaking their observation. Now, right now, I did not have my Haki on, so I will do that again. As you can see, I hit both the enemies they flew up into the air, and then when they drop down, they can continue to move and use abilities, but they would still get damaged in the big area of effect. This area of effect breaks observation as well, which is very nice. Comment down below your favorite gun, and now you know how to get it, so go get it. See you all next time.